What's going on everybody? We are here in Lee, New Hampshire at the Lee USA Speedway. I haven't been here in about 14 years. The last time I was here, I was actually jumping freestyle motocross in my dirt bike days. So it's good to be back here. It's been a long time. We just have one show, one Saturday afternoon show, and it's gonna be hot today, buddy. Let's walk around, look at the track, see what we have to work with. First off, what I really noticed is the sand for dirt. This is just sand right here, guys. There's not even actually dirt. This won't pack at all. It's just completely crumbly sand. That sand's gonna go away and it's gonna be really hard to hit that. So I am kind of worried about that. Right here we have the moonwalk bump. This is gonna work nicely. I always like doing moonwalks of concrete barricades because they're just so much more sturdy to hit and it gives you that proper pop. Right now it's about 10 in the morning and it's already about 85 degrees. It's gonna be warm today. All right guys, pit party is a wrap. We got all the trucks lined up right here behind me, two by two. We're going around the front stretch here. We're gonna go around to the front stretch and do intros. Met a lot of great V2 Vids fans out there. Thanks for coming out guys, showing your support. We love you, thanks for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button guys. It's gonna be a great show today. It is so hot, but we're ready to rock and roll here in Lee USA Speedway, Lee, New Hampshire. I gotta get my sunglasses, gotta get my driving jacket, then we're gonna go do intros. two-wheel skill. We're gonna try to ride a nice moonwalk for these fans. Let's go have some fun, guys. Let's strap up. I'm gonna put the drone up, try some different things. Just set the drone up and hover. That way it gives a nice aerial view. It's not gonna chase it around, but just give a different perspective. All right, so we took home the two-wheel win. I'm not even kidding, it is very hot out today. And then I have my drone flying, right? So I put my drone out and I set it there just hovering so it go out and watch me do the moonwalk. So my phone overheated while the drone was setting there. So my drone takes off like 500 feet. I come back, I can't find my drone anywhere. My phone's over temping, so I can't even see where the drone is. I was freaking out and, oh, oh I've calmed down. That was <laughs> <laughs> so my drone is back. It came back, landed itself, so luckily that happened. All right, guys, so we're going to go in the first round of racing.
racing is a wrap. We took home the racing victory, guys. It was a total dust bowl out there. I mean, you couldn't see anything when you're trying to return back to the pit area. You literally had to stop for like 30 seconds, wait for the dust to clear up, and then head back to your pit stall. Unbelievably dusty, but that's okay. We took home the racing win. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Jeff from Claude Busted, the channel Claude Busted. Go check it out, guys. I'll put the link in the description below. Go check his channel out. He's back here crewing. Everybody say hi to Jeff from Claude Busted. How you doing, guys? It's good he, to be here with Mikey. He actually just built his own monster truck. It's called Aggravated Assault. It's a beautiful new piece, brand new truck from the ground up. Go check his channel out. Like I said, link in the description below and check him out. Give him some love, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Let's see everybody here. So we're going straight into freestyle intermission right now. Let the truck cool down a little bit. Hopefully they water the track a little bit because it is ridiculously dusty. Uh, looks like they're putting another bus out here. Well, let's walk out and take a look at this mess. Okay, so they got this bus out here. They just put this bus in the infield. Then they're going to stack cars up against this bus. It's going to be like an old school stack. It's going to be very interesting. Luckily, I don't have to be the first guy to hit it. So I think he's going to take another car and stack over top of here to kind of stair step it up to make it a little bit easier for everybody to hit. Once again, guys, here's the other school bus jump. It is very sandy. Look here. Super sandy. This stuff does not pack at all. So we're thinking about the first or second truck that goes over this. That dirt is going to be so far down. Basically going to be a bare car right there that you're going to have to hit to get over the bus. So hopefully it's not too sketchy and we'll be able to hit it in freestyle. Then on the back side, it's just a straight drop off right here. So you have to make sure that you fly the truck over the bus properly. You don't want to nose in. You don't want to come in too rear heavy. You have to jump it and pretty much land flat out here. So we got the firefighters out here wetting the track putting down some water. It's going to help the dust a lot, hopefully, because it was really bad out there.
with my heart on high drive.